A group of paleontologists discovered a huge number of remains of prehistoric lizards in Alaska. Almost, at the North Pole. Dinosaurs, that lived 70 million years ago, in incredibly cold temperatures. To find out what species lived near the Arctic Circle and how they managed to survive, it was decided to equip a research team of specialists and send it to the very north of Alaska. Preliminary studies have shown that a huge number of remains were found in one large sandstone mountain, and excavations should be carried out on this mountain. The giant rock has many layers. To get to the first remains, you need to carefully dig up layer by layer. And at the same time, you need to act very carefully so as not to damage valuable finds. What did Alaska look like in the Cretaceous? Scientists believe that at that time there was a low temperature as it is now. Could be a few degrees warmer. But anyway, it was cold enough for dinosaurs and experts still cannot understand how the ancient dinosaurs survived in such weather. Dinosaurs beyond the Arctic Circle? This is something fantastic. The extreme life of prehistoric lizards has been carefully studied by paleobiologists for several years. Findings will greatly help speed up this process. The discoveries will show what the dinosaurs that lived in such a climate were capable of. And we will understand how they survived in such a cold temperature. During the Cretaceous period, many dinosaur skeletons ended up in the river, which died near the shore. Paleontologists have discovered a real Klondike of bones and remains of ancient lizards. After careful analysis and full study, these bones can tell many interesting stories about the life of dinosaurs. After all the necessary work, the first results appeared. Scientists have determined that large Alaskan dinosaurs hatched eggs for six months. 180 days the cubs were in the eggs. They did not have much time to get stronger before winter. After hatching, the tiny dinosaurs had about a month to prepare for the harsh frost. But even then, the babies were not ready to migrate to warmer territories. Watch this episode until the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also click on the bell so as not to miss new and interesting videos from our channel. And it's true, that dinosaurs lived in Alaska all year round. But how then did herbivores survive in the harsh winter? In winter, there was no grass, no leaves, no branches. With the help of coprolites, scientists have found out what ancient herbivores ate in cold weather. The food was very simple. Rotten remains of trees. Dinosaurs ate this very inedible food in winter. This is very amazing. Many insects lived in old, rotten logs. Beetles and wood lice contained the protein necessary for the animal's body. Protein increased the immunity and health of any herbivorous dinosaur. Hadrosaurids could feed on rotten trees for four months of the year, in the coldest period. Another very important question. How could dinosaurs protect themselves from frost? The temperature could reach minus 35 degrees. 125 million years ago, there was a cold climate on the territory of modern China. As cold as the climate of prehistoric Alaska. But dinosaurs lived there at that time. Euteranus. Relatively small predator. Only 9 meters long. The Euteranus was dressed for the weather. It was covered in feathers that looked like hair. But they were real feathers. Thanks to such clothes, dinosaurs survived in the cold. Most likely, the lizards that lived in Alaska had exactly the same feathers. But not only feathers saved the ancient inhabitants of Alaska. For example, Cestylosaurids had a very interesting defense against the cold. 
These little dinosaurs were the size of a dog. What kind of tiny creatures survived the winter? Cestilosaurids are primarily raptors. Raptors had a sickle-shaped claw on their feet. They lived in Alaska and were also covered in feathers. But due to their small size, it was impossible to defend themselves with feathers alone. Small predators found salvation. These are burrows. Small animals at the onset of frost could dig holes. And there is even a theory that fleeing the winter cold, cestilosaurids could hibernate for three or four months before the warm season. Analyzes studied by scientists were able to confirm that 13 new species of dinosaurs could live in Alaska in harsh climatic conditions. The scientists also found an entire elevated area that was littered with Cretaceous dinosaur footprints. Paleontologists needed to understand what dinosaurs looked like, and for this, the traces were ideally suited for analysis. Once upon a time there were plains on the site of these steep mountains. But the ground gradually shifted. As a result, vertical rocks appeared. This is the largest collection of footprints in Alaska. These incredible prints can tell a lot. What behavior did dinosaurs have? What did the ancient lizards do? Several types of Cretaceous fossils lived in Alaska. These are large hadrosaurids, also serapsids. The only representative of the serapsids that lived in Alaska was the Pachyrhinosaurus. Pachyrhinosaurs in Alaska formed large flocks that could consist of several thousand individuals. Scientists also found traces of large tyrannosaurids. Where there are herbivores, there will always be predators. Nanoxaurus, northern brother of T-Rex. It was half the size of its southern relative. But in bloodthirstiness he did not concede anything. Paleontologists appreciate such discoveries. So they study the lost world and an unusual ecosystem. Although more recently, scientists believed that dinosaurs could not have survived in an Arctic environment. Now those guesses are wrong. Typical representatives of the dinosaur faunus of the polar regions were hadrosaurids, ceratopsians, various carnivorous dinosaurs, ankylosaurs, and hypsilophodontids. Stegosaurs are also found in the Yakut deposits, and in Alaska, paleontologists found a separate species of pachycephalosaurs and called them Alaskacephals. In regions with a relatively warm paleoclimate, such as Teat or Southeast Queensland, paleontologists have also found fossils of sauropods, giant, long-necked dinosaurs. The most unusual polar dinosaur is the 7-meter Antarctic Cryolophosaurus, Cryolophosaurus elioti, a predator with a crest on its head. This crest was located across the skull, and not along, as in other carnivorous dinosaurs such as Dilophosaurus and Monolophosaurus. Some researchers suggest that the crest helped recognize individuals of its own species, but this is unlikely. So far no similar predatory dinosaurs have been found in Antarctica. Other scientists believe that Cryolophosaurus used the comb to attract a mate. This predator, most likely, hunted rather large herbivorous sauropodomorphs, but did not disdain small prey either, this is evidenced by its petrified stomach contents, which included the tooth of Tritilodontid, a relative of mammals. Also, apparently, Cryolophosaurus practiced cannibalism. Another feature of Cryolophosaurus is the combination of both primitive and advanced features in the structure of the skeleton, which still causes difficulties in its classification. In the polar and subpolar regions, of course, not only non-avian dinosaurs lived. Paleontologists find here both birds and pterosaurs, as well as various mammals and their primitive relatives, non-mammal synapsids. In some regions, scientists have met crocodiles, turtles and amphibians, but they are not in high-latitude locations. 
with one exception, in the Senamanian deposits of Alaska, at a paleo latitude of 65 to 75 degrees. Turtle fossils were discovered in the 80s of the last century. Dinosaurs were born and lived even in the coldest territories of our Earth. But even more interesting discoveries and clues lie ahead. Thank you for watching this episode to the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also click on the bell so as not to miss new and interesting releases from our Real Unreal channel.